Hello everybody, my name is Phythodas, welcome to the line of Epic Heroes, if this is the first time you ever come here and uh, also welcome back to those who are old uh, people and old members of this community, the best Titan Quest community on uh, this platform, YouTube. And uh, today I'm going there in the secret passage of Eternal Embers DLC and Act, which is this one, the portal. I haven't been there before with this specific character which is one of my top favorite spellcaster builds ever, the Hybrid Evoker. So, I will go there for the first time ever and I will try to complete this dungeon. But since I haven't played this uh, dungeon for a long time now, I don't, rem I don't remember exactly which portals to take to reach the final uh, room. So, we will have to go through, I guess, each one of the portals. Let's take the left one first. And now the left one. We have some giant enemies here. There is no other portal in this area, so we take this one to go back. Now we will take uh, the left one. Let's see. Ah, okay, it is this one. Let's go back. Now we will take the right one. And we get some uh, goat enemies, whatever they are, trying to attack and kill us. Okay, nothing else here, so let's go back. This is the first room, where we can see the bar maze of devouring. Now we took this one, now we can take the middle one portal. And here we have way too many portals to choose from, so I think we will go back to the first room. Let's go back to the right portal. Because something is telling me that uh, this way we will not fight the... The final room of this place, let's take the left one. I would like to explore all rooms and uh, pick up the loot, whatever loot we can get, anyway. Blazing of Tempest. Okay, now let's go back and we will go to the middle uh, portal. Okay, we have to go to the right, then to the middle. Yeah. Nothing there. And now to the right. Now 
That enemy didn't go to die. Okay, so we are done with this uh, room. Let's go back. And uh, yeah, I think we are done with uh, this uh, room altogether. Let's go to this one because I'm not sure. Okay, yes. Okay, this is the right way. So, now let's take I think that this portal will take us to the final portal the final room so let's take this one let's start from the right to the left take a look at the loot here Okay, what do we have? Eh, nothing really good dropped. But at least we picked up lots of gold. Now let's go back. <coughs> now let's go to this one. Ah, maybe this is the one that will take us to the final portal. Maybe I shouldn't go there. Okay, let's go back. Let's explore these three, and then I'll come back down there. Barmes of Devouring, we have to take the middle one and now take this one. Yep. Okay, we found the way. Now we will take this one and after this one we can go to the other one which uh, will take us to the final room of uh, this uh, awesome secret uh, passage dungeon whatever it is. But this, this bear doesn't go to hit us, why? It is a hero bear that uh, is friendly, it is not hostile. Okay, I don't care, let's go back. Now, uh, this bow is a perfect bow because both prefix and suffix are of the same type of damage. Let's go to this one for the final uh, room. The room where we can uh, defeat all developers including myself. I'm not a developer but I'm there in that room anyway. Here we are. The prison of souls, I hope that I will survive against myself. Ah, here comes myself. Mr. Fire. Uh. Myself just killed my pet. Oh. Okay. Okay, I killed myself. Nice. No item dropped, of course, but at least I killed myself. Now let's go fight the developers. Here comes the developers.
This beastman is very tough. Does it go to die? KNC and Dead Ghost. One more developer. Let's go this way. The dinosaur was easy. This will be the final area to go because uh, <coughs> in that area we have one of the toughest bosses in the whole game. Or the toughest enemies anyway because uh, it is uh, Toxeo Anubis. Ah, they killed my pet. He petrified me! He almost killed me! He killed me! So that developer was the one who could have defeated me after all. Let's go back there. Okay, here we are back again. Let me see, do I have any potions that I could use? Um, yeah, something like this for example. Let's put the potion of evasion. And let's go back to that uh, developer uh, hero boss enemy, try to beat him. He froze me again. Again, this is perma froze, uh, perma freeze effect. Ha! He's dead. My meteors finished him off. Okay, let's go to the next room. One more developer, Nikolai. Nikolai was awesome. He was a very kind developer, I guess. He was easy to kill. Oh, oh, oh. I almost got killed.
Okay, this is Budgie. Next, the Norbert. Many developers all together here. I hope they will not freeze me again. Oh, I'm dead! They stunned me, they put me to sleep. I'm not their baby, why? No! What? Okay, I finished them off. Norbert is still alive, why? Oh, El Megalometer. I think that El Megalometer is uh, the boss of uh, the developers. But I defeated all developers here. And I got crappy items to drop. One more developer. Green items uh, on this chest. And uh, the easter egg items from this big one. There is also... this item is uh, dancing. Ah, okay, it is probably useless. So, anybody... Ah, one more chest. Now, let's go to the most challenging enemy of this dungeon and also of the whole, one of the most challenging enemies of the whole game, including all DLCs. Not this one, of course. First, we will defeat these uh, small uh, enemies. Jordana is here with the bow. Okay, now we will pick up the Book of the Dead. Can we open up this one? Yes. This enemy is coming out, Prosoro! A uh, damage reflection, eh? Yeah, this sucks. Whoa! I used the meteors on him and due to die his damage reflection, the meteors hit myself and I got killed by my attack. The potion to avoid uh, more projectiles and stuff like that. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think that uh, that was a good strategy. Huh? Tusure. So, maybe this time around I should use another potion. Something that would provide more um, armor, this one. Oh, I wasn't fast enough. Okay, this is going to be the third and final uh, time uh, against this enemy. He slows me down.
My pet is dead again. I cannot uh, call it back. Opa, am I dead? Not yet. The thing is that this boss has a second diversion. Here comes the second one. This one can totally destroy me. Huh, I'm not dead. Oi! Little by little... Oh no! But I clicked it! Did you see that? I clicked the stone form for very bad luck. I was at, uh, I was very unlucky there. I have to go there now and uh, finish off uh, the second phase of the boss, but I don't remember if he will come back as uh, Toxeo Anubis or as Prosoro now. And let's go with Potion of Evasion. Yeah, he's a big boy, nice. What the hell? I, I was a stone form? How did she kill me as a stone form? Okay, forget it guys, I got tired and bored of this fight. So let's say that this character uh, has a very very hard time killing uh, that boss. Uh, Prosoro and especially... Or maybe, I don't know, is Prosoro the toughest uh, fight form of this boss? Or is it Toxeo Anubis for this build? Who knows? Anyway... Uh, this build still remains one of my top favorite uh, builds ever and as a spellcaster and in general as a build. It is a hybrid evoker and it is very very good. So this is it for this video, I'll be back with more content in the future. Thank you for watching, uh, remember to subscribe if you like what you see, hit the like button and if you want to support this channel to be here for many years to come, uh, consider becoming a member on this YouTube channel or subscribe on Twitch, or you can also become a Patreon. I'll see you very soon again, guys. Have a good one.